got set to go against the new kid, Brian and Tony. I hear the music. They should be coming this way very, very soon. Well, I guess they can find their way out of the rut. They're not known for their intelligence. And they come right there, Brian and Tony. Boy, the fans greeting them warmly as they arrive here in the studio. Look at all those people hugging them and, and putting their arms around them. They're going to have to go and be seen loud after this TV taping, Dave, obviously. Look at those people out there. They're a bunch of scumbags. They're nasty. They don't shower. Their breath stinks. They got no teeth. And you got Brian and Tony over there hugging and kissing on them. Those guys are going to have to be de They're going to have to get their heads shaved. They're going to have to have something because they're going to be in a lot of bad shape after being around people like that. It's obvious, Dave. People like you, as a matter of fact. Well, if you don't mind, if you'll just talk about the match, if you're going to be out here, I just assume you just pack it up and head on back into the dressing area and leave us alone out here. But if you insist on staying here, leave the fans alone. Let's talk about the wrestling action. Okay, let's talk about it. You got the new kids. I got a lot of respect for this team. They're a young team, but they're real good wrestlers. They got a lot of good moves. They know what they're doing. Obviously, they're agile, they're intelligent in the ring, but the only problem they got is they don't have somebody with the experience, with the knowledge, with the years of guidance. Somebody like Downtown Bruno. Now, if they had any kind of real intelligence, real sense, they'd have Downtown Bruno in their corner. And right now, I could have been distracting the referee while they used that obviously illegal tactic of uh, a double teaming on this Scott guy, whatever, Billy, Bobby, Jerry, Johnny, Phil, whatever. That, that is Billy Scott in there right now. Brian flips him off the ropes. Count is one. Nope, can't make it stick. I thought they might have him for a three count very quickly there. Well, I thought so too. I thought so too. Like I said, if they had downtown Bruno as their man, I could have taught him a few different tactics, a few different uh, creative things to employ. Creative. Like creative meaning not necessarily legal, fans. I uh, just kind of interpret that uh, downtown Bruno's uh, description of the situation. Dave, whatever gets your hand raised in victory, that's the main thing. In fact, that's the only thing, okay? That just get away with it, don't get fined, don't get caught, and win the match. That's the bottom line, Dave. These goofy, ugly-looking, ridiculous people out here don't understand that. That's why they work in idiotic jobs, eating bologna sandwiches, and don't have any idea what they're going to do with their life. Whoa, what a move by Tony. Count of two. It's over. The new kid gets the victory at downtown Bruno.